Hi. I'm going to show you how I get images off of the DJI Osmo Pocket with just a cable and not having to pop out the uh, little SD card every time. It stumped me for a while. It's not clearly described in the user manual. I haven't really seen it in any of the photos. So, real simple, and this will be real brief, and, and if any of you are struggling with this, you're going you're gonna to appreciate this video. So this is the DJI Osmo Pocket, and this is the connector we use to get it to connect to the smartphone, and my thinking was, well, this connector will also get it to show up on my Mac as a hard drive. Not so. Uh, tried and tried and tried, it's simply not. That connector is not designed to connect to your USB on your Mac. But there's a much easier way. Simply put the charge cable, and nowhere does it say that this is also for hooking it up to your Mac. You put the charge cable in. Hook the other end of the USB to your Mac. And then turn on the Osmo Pocket. If the lightning connector is on, you need to take that off. And then you should see a prompt to connect to computer. And you press accept. And now, you'll see it shows up as 128 gig on my computer, because that's the size um, drive I have, or SD card. But now, um, everything shows up. So, very simple, very quick. Here's another cool little tip. If you happen to have your controller wheel on, and not the lightning connector, you can leave it on. And it'll prompt you to accept the connection to the computer. And that's because the controller wheel doesn't trigger the little connected switch that the lightning connector does. So you can have the controller wheel on and move photos to your Mac, uh, which is pretty convenient, pretty handy. Another tip.